So when is an everyday carry light not just an everyday carry light? Well, when it creates a burning sensation below your waist, if you know what I mean. By that I mean it's in your pocket and uh, you accidentally left it on. Come on man, that thing's powerful. Make sure you turn it off first. So check out the brand new pocket scorcher, literally, which can pump out over 1200 actual lumens. The Manker A6 BLF edition. BLF stands for budget light form, but you already knew that, right? You're like, what? I see cheap no-name flashlights well over a thousand lumens on eBay all freaking day. Well, most of those are complete lies. So what makes this flashlight claim true? Well, it's because I said so. And I tested it too. So it's got all the features of the quality expensive brands like Nightcore or Phoenix, but it's cheaper and brighter. You're like, what's the catch? There is no catch. In addition to making you taller, funnier, and giving you beautiful skin just by buying it, you have the type three anodization instead of dumb type one or type two anodization, a coated glass lens, a Cree XPL emitter, and an orange peel reflector that gives the light a nice smooth bean pattern. Beam, not bean. A deep carry pocket clip, a lanyard, some spare O-rings, and a GPS tracker so the government, oh, uh, I mean, uh, another cool lanyard, bro. So here's the weight with the battery and some rough dimensions if you like boring things. So what makes it different than other flashlights other than an idiot on YouTube says so? Well, it's programmed to have a wide array of modes, and unless you modify flashlights, it's more powerful than any stock light in this size, it doesn't matter the brand. It's powered off a single 18650, or what I like to call it, a 18650 battery, either flat top, button top, protected, or unprotected. To get the full potential out of a light though, you'll need to use high drain 18650 batteries, or 18650. I use LG 18650 HD2 2500 milliamp hour high drain batteries, which run about 12 bucks a pair. So how about some flashlight science? It has seven total modes, so I guarantee you there's a mode for you, unless you're a contrarian who just doesn't like things. The following are my output figures for each mode. I tested the modes using two separate batteries because I didn't have anything better to do, and the figures for both cells are on screen just to make it look like I know some shit. There's Moonlight. There's level two. There's level three. There is level four. There is level five. There is level six. And there is level seven. While level seven hasn't had a new album in many years, it has a 45 second turbo timer. It steps down to approximately 759 lumens. You can reset the timer by turning it on or off. On or off, I mean on and off. Since level seven is basically a direct drive of the LED with the battery, it's recommended to use only in short bursts. I use the FL1 standard when testing brightness levels. So all modes were tested using freshly charged batteries and brightness was measured about 30 seconds in. Also, there's a strobe and a bike strobe mode. Strobe. Okay, how about the runtime section with the LG cell or as some viewers might call it, that part they always skip through. Okay, let's do level seven first. You can see it drops down after about 45 seconds. It runs high and slowly dims for about one hour and 40 minutes before a hard step down, then another hard step down, running at a very low level with another hard step down, which looks like moonlight when I ended the test at three hours and 37 minutes with light still coming out. The ending voltage was about 2.8 volts. I'm like the John Madden of flashlight runtime tests, right? Whatever that means. Next is level six. It behaves similarly to level seven. The light slowly dims over one hour, 50 minutes before another few hard steps down to lower levels. And then it's lowest level around the three hour mark and runs until I kill the test at six and a half hours with light still coming out. Next is level five. Dims for over three hours before stepping down a few times. I ended the test a bit earlier than the last, but it still had light coming out when I did. Next is level four. It runs for nearly six hours before stepping down a few times and then doing a hard shut off at about seven hours. Cool. The rest of the modes were not tested out of interest of time and wear and tear on my camera. Note though that the light shuts off fully if the battery voltage dips below 
2.8 volts. So it does have low voltage protection. Okay, so how does the UI work? Well, you have a few different options with the light because it's a rule nowadays that flashlights have to do more than turn on or off. Plus, it really pads the length of these videos. You can make the light four or seven modes and enable or disable mode memory. I have mode memory enabled and seven modes enabled, just in case you wanted to know. I'm not trying to influence you or anything. The light basically works like most modern flashlights, but nothing like a chainsaw. A full click to turn on and off then short half presses to scroll through the modes from low to high and back again. Long half presses take you backwards. If you have mode memory enabled, it comes on in the same mode you turned it off in, provided you leave it off for at least one full second. There are also hidden modes. To get to them, you will need to go back to moonlight mode or level one. A long one and a half second press takes you backwards first to turbo. Then, of course, there's tactical strobe. Then another one and a half second press gets you to battery check, which blinks zero times if the battery is dead or up to five times if the battery is fully charged. Then one last half second gets you to bike strobe. Nice. I won't demonstrate how to change any settings, but to get into setup mode, turn on the light and basically press it rapidly 15 or more times these are half presses, by the way. It shuts off briefly, then takes you to setup mode, which is noted by a series of two blinks, followed by a space, then two blinks again. Read the instructions to find out how to disable and enable mode memory or four or seven mode version. Now the beam shot section. You can see while the A6 doesn't quite have the throw of the X-Tar or the Emolent, it doesn't matter much at shorter distances because it's by far the brightest light of the bunch. Remember the X-Tar and Emolent are premium lights that cost over twice as much as the A6. Although that may not matter to the large audience of millionaires who watch my videos. Okay, some final thoughts. This light, as far as I know, will be only available at banggood.com. That's right, banggood.com. B-A-N-G-G-O-O-D.com. Yes, I said that correctly. It's a custom-built light that was developed by several members over at Budget Light Forum. There's also a short tube that will be available soon that will allow it to be significantly shorter and run a 18350 battery. Since it has the same voltage, it will retain the same brightness, but longer, I'm sorry, shorter run times, because longer run times is a stupid thing to say, right? The tint reviewed here is the warmest tint of the bunch, the 5A, but it's available in the 3D neutral tint, which you apparently don't have to use glasses to see, or the cool 1A tint, which is not a reflection of how it makes you look to other people. So pick whatever one you want because you're an adult. Well, those aren't really thoughts, more like some facts. Okay, how about opinions? We'll try this again. This is the best light ever made. Okay, that's kind of a hard one to back up. All right, how about this? It is the brightest single LED, single battery light I own, which I guess is a fact. It has a ton of modes, goes super low and super high. Since my normal everyday carry light is a Convoy S6, which if you don't know what that is, who cares? This is roughly the same size, has a moonlight mode, a nice tint, and is well over twice as bright. Okay, one or two things so I don't sound like a dumb show. How about a lower moonlight, like uh, Firefly, I guess is what they call it. I understand why it wasn't done because it's actually hard to do, but uh, I don't know. You wanted an opinion, right? That's what opinions are. Okay, that's it. For more information on this light, Google... BLF edition A6 or visit Budget Light Forum to find the massive months in the making for thread Fred that features the development of this amazing community source light. And go buy it because it encourages manufacturers to listen to the people that buy the things that they sell and to make better products. Subscribe to my channel if you like videos like this. If you don't like videos like this, subscribe anyway. Okay, well that really doesn't make any sense. Anyway, thank you very much for all the new subscribers who've come on board lately, and for the OG ones who maybe have felt sorry for me, you know, much longer ago. Thanks for watching. Seriously, I mean it. And, and I'm not crying, okay? <laughs>